Hello, hello is Gerald. Um, I make a, a small tutorial to explain how to use, uh, how to install first and use uh, the VWD script I wrote for the studio. Um, I want to install uh, the script in the main library in my library and want to, to install it here. The first time to do is to take the, the compressed file uh, contain, containing also uh, the files uh, needed to, to the, the execution of uh, uh, VWD. I open the, the zip file and uh, I can see all the files uh, necessary for the execution. Um, personally, I, I always install BWD in uh, directly under uh, uh, the first level of the, of the disk, in C, in the C disk, for example. So. I will create a new folder named VWD and I will copy all these files into this directory. Now I, will, I want to install the VWD scripts. I open the folder, I copy this file and I go to the Dust Studio li library. Here, yeah. the folder don't exist. <coughs> I will uh, create it, create a new folder named VWD. And now I copy th the script in this folder. Okay, all is ready for the execution of PWD. I can close the zip file. I can now go to PWD don't exist. It is necessary to refresh. Okay. Here here is uh, the files. I, um, so these scripts don't know where are the files necessary to the execution of uh, the VWD. It don't know where is VW, VWD close on air uh, execute, um, point x x x um, file. Um, I if I start it. It's, uh, the program says it is necessary to um, to reset the the VWD pass. I execute this part and I go to the VWD uh, folder in the C files uh, C disk and. I select the VWD close on air. Okay. Normally, all, all is is ready for the execution. The first execution, the program needs to uh, find uh, some uh, files which don't uh, exist. So it is necessary to to uh, start it the first time. Then you can um, close it and now you can restart it and each time you will start the, the program the, the, the execution will be uh, fully um, normal. Now you can uh, use VWD uh, like with uh, the bridge, uh, the, the, the system is quite uh, identical. 
you can import Genesis 3 as collision object. You can import um, the skirt dress as close object. I will use so the, the settings I use for this. For this dress, okay. This settings are, are fine. Okay. I can select the free edge. <coughs> I remove the selected vertices at the bottom and I use uh, an extension. Okay, and oh, now I can make an A to collision. Now all is ready for the simulation. I can start the simulation using the default parameters. And the, the simulation will start. Uh, it is necessary to understand the f these uh, scripts are in the first version of almost uh, a beta version. I, it, when we execute the transfer between Dash Studio and VWD, the fastest, fast, uh, fastest method I, f I found is to use OBS file. So uh, at each time you, you, you use um, a transfer to between the two the, the programs, you have to to use uh, mm, to export uh, OBS file when you want to to get some animation from the studio to BWD and in reverse uh, it is necessary to export uh, from the BWD in uh, uh, to the studio in uh, text format too. I want to improve this uh, this part and I uh, I hope I will be able to work directly with uh, with uh, binary files uh, in uh, scripts it is not possible to to access to binary files i will have to to use uh, sdk okay the simulation is done now i can send the animation to the host it is in this version uh, it is made directly Okay, the program goes. The transfer is not made directly if I want to execute it. It, it don't work directly. I want to, to, uh, to make it possible. You just have to go to the script, open the script which are in the VWD uh, folder in Dash Studio folder, and you run the scripts uh, having the same name as uh, the dynamic element. This one, then you execute it, and you can return to the viewport, and you can run the simulation. You can. It, it, it is, uh, it is not necessary to select the, the dynamic element. Uh, it is uh, the relation if is made directly. Okay, I hope this uh, small tutorial uh, will help you to understand how to install and use uh, the VWD script. Thank you.